Jasmine, although she doesn't eat eggs, she makes the best eggs on toast ever. Monday morning, six days out. Competition is this week, this Sunday. Excited. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Did you? Did you? Did you? Did you? I always find it weird how you talk to dogs. Magic. I said I had a knot between my spine and the kind of my shoulder blade. It's still there. So we're using this time on the journey home to roll it out. Ball is definitely in there. <laughs> Actually feels really good. Say hey Jess. Hey. The first event of Rep Out got released when we were in the car on the way home. Mixed opinions. <laughs> to be honest, I think it's a really cool event. So what you get is eight windows of 45 seconds, four each for each partner. And it's max snatch. And only three of the four lifts count. So if you miss a lift, it's absolutely fine, but you have to nail the other three. And it's a total of three lifts out of the four. So if you miss two, you've put yourself in a kind of, in a, in a bad place. So this is edging on the side of caution, slash you want to lift heavy. So. It's about consistency at heavy weight. Kind of cool. Good. What up? Good. Hi, Jenna. Hey. Yeah. Haircut is looking fresh. It's nice, right? Yeah. It's no hat. No hat. He turned up at um, Solly Hall with a hat, and I was like, "What is that?" <laughs> Yeah. So last week we started the gymnastics program and I said we're doing handstand push-ups on the Monday, toes to bar on the Wednesday and then chest to bar on the Friday. We're back on Monday. How we started was finding our max handstand push-ups, three sets with two minutes rest in between. We're taking that final set that we did where I got 14 reps and that's kind of like our baseline. What we're doing with that number today is doing four sets of 14 reps with two minutes in between. That's the start of the gymnastics program. Same with the toes to bar on Wednesday and same with the chest to bar on Friday. Watch this, this is a clip from the 28th of February of Jazz trying to do a handstand push-up. Seven months later. You ready? This is awesome. Yeah, so. <laughs> oh. oh, if I'd have just taken a second to breathe, I reckon I'd have got that one. The pressure, the pressure got to me. <laughs> Handstand push ups. Slowly trying to turn a weakness into a strength. It's just going to take a lot of time. But the two things I feel like you need in CrossFit are patience and consistency. The two, the two things. When was the last time you? When was the last time you snatched, Chris? I did a little bit of snatch with Solia last week, but yeah, before, but before that, like two, three months ago. So now we're six days out, and Chris is trying to remember how to snatch. I go to gymnastics. So you can go for like Hopefully, one, two has gymnastics. Oh. <laughs> I'm feeling good. <laughs> There's a training room upstairs, went to the training room, which is really good. There's a campus. Nope, we've got one long sock and one short sock. <laughs> oh. 
There you go. Not so promising start to the night with the snatch. We're both kind of feeling tight and drained and just sluggish and I guess first session back after a weekend off you kind of just want to get your body back into gear. 90kg you did 4 or 5 reps and it felt really really good in a power snatch. Now when I was warming up I was kind of going into squat snatch but I don't feel stable in the bottom of a squat snatch. So when we moved up to the heavier weights I just kept on dropping the bar and kind of losing my balance a little bit. I need to do a lot more overhead stuff, I need to do a lot more overhead squats, a lot more bottom of the snatch stability work. So I think on Saturday what we're going to do is just concentrate on the power snatch and the thing that I'm more comfortable with. Just got to hope for the best. What's the plan? Uh, do something. What I like that. Is, that. I don't know. Do something. <laughs> Look what's going on in the box. That is a disaster. That's that. What's, what's happened? Yeah, a bit of a snap. Uh, Where's yours? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, three, two, one. Crossfit! What is going on, team? Craig with you back with another commentary. And I don't know what it was, I think we all had the weekend off. And we came back in this session, we, I don't know, we just were, we are all feeling it, I think that's the way to put it. After snatching, we all kind of got together and we were like, we don't want any heavy barbell stuff in this wad, we don't want anything that's really central nervous system stimulated, we just want something that we're going to work, little impact, because our bodies kind of feel a little bit broken. It was just one of those days, you get in, you get it done, and you just move on to the next day. This workout actually felt like a really old school CrossFit main site workout, a kind of simple push-pull, but effective workout. Alternating with the partner, 25 calories on the rower, 25 push-ups, and we were just going until the rower reached 250 calories, which was five rounds each. And I think when we finished, it was around the 10 minute mark. And this kind of takes me back to the point that I was talking about the other day when I'd finished the workout and I said I wasn't really feeling that it needed a couple of days off. It's one of the most important things that you can do in CrossFit is listen to your body. Separating a mental burnout from a physical burnout and knowing how to differentiate. A lot of that will probably come down to experience but it's just knowing when you should take a step back from training or when you should kind of lighten the load and maybe do more cardio based workouts, more body weight exercises that don't put as much strain on the joints and the muscles physically as maybe the heavier barbell complex style workouts. But this is a journey and you guys have seen me when I'm like at the top of my game and I'm enjoying every second of training and killing it and you see me in times like this when my body isn't maybe working at 100% of its full capacity but Towards the end of this week, we are going to rest up a lot more before hitting the competition on Sunday. Anyway, guys, if you are enjoying the video, please leave a like rating. It always does help. And thank you so much, every single one of you that comes back and watches every video. It means the world to me. We'll talk to you guys later on in the video. It's just another body work, isn't it? Yeah. All night's just been out of the body. Yeah. I'm here up, just feel sweet. You okay? This hurts so bad. I guess you'd call this peak week in bodybuilding. Are we ready, Chris? Yeah. I like that confidence. We're just chilling outside post workout because it's just so nice. And we're not going to have this for much longer. Maybe like another month, and then it's going to be freezing, jumpers, cold box. But currently, we're sat out here in a t shirt. Couldn't get any better. Is that? <laughs> My right leg is jacked. <laughs> ready to go home? Yes, I am very ready to go home. One, One two, three. three. Yeah! That was, that, was that was late. That was so late. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, good, you? Good. A few days off, needed it. Listen to your body. Yes! <laughs> nice boy. Hey. Hello. Let's go back in. Boom, see you tomorrow. What are you looking at? Oh, my Australian friend Kirsty that I used to work with tagged me in a post because Hoy's is this week. It's my first time in six years that I won't be there. For anyone that doesn't know Hoy's is Horse of the Year show. That wasn't the best of nights, but still got it done. Got a bit of work in. Five days left after today. Gonna be good. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> How cute is that? Yeah, look. Finishing off today with a lime and soda. We're in a place called the White Horse, and it's a pub where I used to work. My first job was selling ice creams at a castle. My first job was working on a farm when I was about 12, 13 years old. But yeah, it's a pretty beautiful place. It's got some fairy lights up. And it's got jasmine. I mean, what else do you need? <laughs> That's what we feel like when we all turn up. That's what our team name for Coalition Games should be, the Power Rangers. Oh, you got me. Oh, that's just, that was, sh that was crap. <laughs> Come on, you rubbish. <laughs> it's like when your mum shouts for you from the sideline when you're playing football. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's football. 